Format 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.3, .3, number nine, and here we were asked to find an average rate of change. And I just wanna take a moment before we get into all of the mechanics. When you hear average rate of change, that's basically asking you to find a slope. And keep in mind a slope is always a change in y over a change in x. And when you see that little triangle, that means delta. And when I say little triangle, I mean this guy, delta, delta. So it just literally means change in y over change in x. And if you heard me say delta, that's that's literally um, the Greek alphabet letter for D, right? It's lowercase d, or I think it's lowercase, might be uppercase. Anywho, so change in x over change in y. So basically, again, we're going back to our slope formula. I need to find two y values and subtract them and put that in ratio to the difference of these two x values. And you're given your two x values. They're right here. We have x and x plus h. So at a certain point, I'm going to subtract these two, right, and that will turn into my denominator. But for the numerator, I need the difference of the y's evaluated at those points. So what I mean by that is I need to find f of x, and I also need to find f of x plus h. Because once I find, again, these are two y values, right, I will subtract them and put that into my numerator. Well, we're told f of x is 2x squared plus 1, so f of x plus h is 2 times x plus h quantity squared plus 1. So what I'm going to do, and I'll color code all of this at this point, all right, so my denominator I'll go ahead and I'll put in blue. And actually, give me one moment, I'm going to make this real precise and I'm going to erase the little blue on the y there. All right, so I'm going to put my change in x's, that'll be the y's, and let's go, I'm sorry, that'll be blue, and let's go ahead and we'll do purple. So anything with the y's is going to be purple. So ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this quantity and subtract that one from it, right? And then on the x side of things, right, I'm going to take the difference of these two. And, and that's what all of this shenanigans is. So here you see me taking, right, here's my first f of x plus h, right? We found that just over here. And then I'm going to subtract out my original function f of x, which we found over here. And then when you see on the denominator here, the h, right? And you think, well, where did that come from? That came from literally I did x plus h minus x, right? And when you do that, these x's cancel out, and that leaves you with just the h, and that's what pops up in my denominator. And from here on in, it's all algebra. I mean, you could argue this whole thing was algebra, but basically what I'm doing at this point is I'm going to expand the x plus h squared. So that becomes x squared plus 2x, 2xh plus h squared. And then I'm going to have to multiply in the 2. I'll distribute that in. Right? And then you see me subtracting this original function, this 2x squared plus 1. Don't forget to distribute that negative to both terms. And when you do this, if you do this correctly, your original function, the f of x, should always cancel out. And it does. You see that I had a 2x, or I should say a negative 2x squared here. It canceled with a positive 2x squared here. I had a negative 1 here that cancels with a positive 1. And that's what you see me doing in this step here. And, and that's a good thing. It should always cancel out. So if I collect this and see what I have left, I have a 4xh plus 2h squared over h. Right? And if you look now in my numerator, I can factor out that h, which is what I did in the next step, and I get 4x plus 2h, but then those h's also cancel out, and that is my end expression. Right? So it's a lot to get there, but that's how you can find an average rate of change. And this seems like a lot, but I, I, I want to take note. This is going to show up in calculus. So this will show up in calculus. This is a very very specific rate of change having these two quantities of x and x plus h. So this will pop up time and time again. All right, and there's a lot of algebra involved. There's a lot of canceling involved, but you are definitely going to see it again. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.